So this is an approach how you could be freezing enemy objects without deactivating them. And if you haven't seen it, then we should just rewind. Hi. So in the Game Maker Social Facebook group, there is one guy called, I'm sorry, it's an Indian name and that's kind of hard for me. Chaudhary Amit Goya, Goja? Chaudhary Amit Goya. I'm sorry. And he's asking, is in Game Maker any function to freeze instance instead of flee sleep function? Um, and Pedro Bona Carvalho, Carvalho, Carvalho. I'm sorry. <laughs> He's suggesting that you use a variable, a variable if freeze, then just exit. And that kind of makes sense. Um, it reminds me of the ice beam in Metroid, for example, or in Breath of the Wild, where you can uh, stop the time on certain enemies. Um, let's just try this out for a quick tip, shall we? All right, we're back in Game Maker Studio 2. Let's check out the enemy object, because everything we're doing, we will be doing in the enemy object. Let's start by making a new Boolean variable. Is frozen false. So if you're wondering, this is the same test project I have been using for the past Game Maker Studio 2 quick tips. Nothing fancy, just just like a project which I used to play around with. So um, anyway, we have the new variable is frozen, which is false because the enemy isn't frozen yet. And we need some indication that it is frozen. So in order to have this, we make the enemy move. And what we are doing is we let it move on the y-axis. And um, yeah, whenever the player moves, the enemy should move. So what we're doing is We do this. So what this does is that it um, adds a little bit to the y-axis. Yeah. And we have this nice, it, it lags behind a little bit. So whenever the player moves up, it lags a little bit behind. And so, yeah, it moves. It flashes. Okay. So, um, this would be working in the in the step event as well. So, the simple thing is, whenever we want to freeze the enemy, we just don't use the step event. So, what we're doing is, if it is frozen, then we just exit the step event. That's it. Hmm. Oh, sorry, <laughs> it's late. So if it is frozen, then we exit. However, we have to set it to freeze and let's do it whenever a shot hits when it we we basically do the same like we have been doing with the hit flash whenever the shot hits the enemy then it is frozen and we have an alarm we make a new alarm for this time and let's freeze for one second 60 steps 
and alarm one sets back to okay um, how about I just realized how about a little visual representation as well so let's let's also change the sprite index and I prepared a frozen sprite and whoop and when it's not frozen anymore like this it's actually the, the sprite change is not very elegantly but it should work so as you can see it moves there it's frozen and it yeah it should move but it can't move because it's frozen and once it is not frozen anymore then it moves it continues to move so yeah very easy and um, pretty simple if you want to, to freeze something just um, <laughs> exit the step event you can still add things to the other events like the end step event if you have some things that need computing or it it, it really depends on on how you prioritize things so yeah you will figure it out i hope i just gave you some ideas so this is an approach how you could be freezing enemy objects without deactivating them and if you haven't seen it then we should just rewind but if you have seen this and if you think this helped you, then drop a like. And to see more Game Maker Studio 2 quick tips, then just subscribe to my channel. Bye bye.